today we will uh, build a binary heap from a set of given numbers so let's say we are given uh, a set of uh, numbers and these are stored in an array a and we have to build a binary heap from that and after that we will see what is the time complexity of the building the complete heap so time complexity of build heap operation this is also called build heap operation so what we do here first we uh, we have seen uh, or uh, in our earlier lesson that uh, a binary heap is typically implemented as an array and we had also seen how to find the parent of a given node how to find the left and right child of a given node so if you have not uh, watched that lesson i would recommend you to watch that lesson first so now assuming that you know that a binary heap is uh, represented as an array implemented as an array now let's see so we have all these numbers these are already stored in some array a and uh, there are a few more levels in between this is the last level and uh, we know that the binary heap is a complete binary tree only the last level can be incomplete and all the other levels should be complete so let's take a general case where we have uh, exactly complete last level and these are the elements at the last level now what we do we had seen uh, a operation called heapify in our previous lesson so what heapify does is that so we apply heapify on some heap so let's say this heap is h and we call heapify on it at some index at that index can be somewhere here so let's say we have some index uh, this is some node at index i so index i mean 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on so these are stored in level order fashion in the array so in array these will be stored here 0 1 2 in the level order fashion and uh, so uh, we have some node at index i this index and we call heapify on this so uh, we will assume that all the nodes all the remaining nodes in the heap already satisfy the heap property or if you are talking about min heap all the children should be larger than the current node and that should be true for all the nodes so assume that every at all the nodes this heap property is satisfied but at this node ith it's violated that is maybe it's one of its children is not uh, more than this node so let's say it's 10 and it's a min heap and we have here 12 and then here we have 5 so you see that it was expected that all the children should be less than this but you see that 5 is not less than it and there can be more nodes and at all the nodes the heap property is satisfied only it's validated at 10 that's why we are doing heapify so what we do in heapify we look at its two children pick the minimum and swap it so 5 comes here 10 comes here and this does not violate heap property anywhere else because this part was already a heap earlier now we are putting a smaller value here this was already a min heap so now if we put a smaller value still all these values will be more than it and we propagate this and in the worst case we may end up till a leaf node so the the main thing that I want to convey is that the op time complexity of this heapify operation is log of n so if uh, this node was let's say at this level then heapify on any of these nodes in the worst case can take time complexity equal to this depth from the leaf so what we will do here in order to build a heap we will put all the nodes in an array which is already the case then we will call heapify on all of these nodes so it will uh, make sure that uh, heap property is satisfied but for heapify the precondition is that it should be satisfied above that node it will only look below the, this node and only in one of the subtrees so the way would be to start from bottom so these are already heap so we can start from second last level 
so for this node so these two nodes would be originating from some parent common parent similarly these two similarly these two and so on so we are at the second last level so call heapify on this one so it will this part will become a heap then call heapify on this part and so on so now these two levels are a heap now we will go to third last level and so on and finally we will reach a uh, the root node so uh, straight away you will see that if the time complexity of one heapify operation is log n and we are doing it for all the nodes or maybe n by two nodes then the overall time complexity would be n log n so this is a upper bound but uh, this is not strictly correct we can get even a lower number and let's see why is that the case so we have some heap and let's say this is the last level so you will notice that at every level we get double the previous number so at first level we have one second level two then four then eight and so on so if you see just these three levels you will see that total we have uh, 2 plus 1 3 and 4 7 7 nodes are there and in the last level we have 4 nodes so it will be if it's a complete binary tree it will be n by 2 plus 1 nodes in the last level so you will see that half of the nodes are in the last level similarly n, n by 4 nodes will be in the previous uh, second last level and so on so this last level is already hippified so no need to do anything so n by 2 nodes are here I am ignoring this plus 1 since this will not make any difference so we start from second last level which has n by 4 nodes and what is the depth from leaf just 1 so for n by 4 nodes we have that height is 1 or depth from the leaf so this will be time taken for epifying all the nodes at second last level then we will move to third last level so let's write it in this form 2 square we can also write n by 2 multiplied by 0 for completeness but this will become 0 and then for n by 2 cube nodes so we are going one level up so as we move one level up number of nodes becomes half so here it was n by 4 now it's n by 8 and now the distance from leaf is 2 units so worst case would be 2 and this will continue n by 2 4 times 3 plus all the way up to root node and here it will be log base 2 of n uh, multiplied by log n log base 2 n minus 1 so whatever is the power of 2 1 less than that and what is this value 2 raised to the power log base 2n it's equal to n so here it's n by n that is 1 because at the root we have just one node and its distance from the leaf is log 2n minus 1 so this makes the complete time duration so the time duration is n by 2 square multiplied by 1 plus n by 2 cube multiplied by 2 plus all the way up to n by 2 log log n multiplied by log n minus 1 so uh, what we can do uh, let's say uh, we write t let's write it on a separate sheet so t is n by 2 square plus n by 2 cube multiplied by 2 plus n by 2 4 multiplied by 3 all the way up to n by 2 log n multiplied by log n minus 1 so let's multiply this t or uh, rather let's uh, divide this by t by 2 so t by 2 becomes every term will be divided by 2 so it, this will become n by 2 cube multiplied by 1 second term will become 
n by 2 4 multiplied by 2 so this is the same term I am just shifting it by one unit just writing in this fashion so that same power of 2 come beneath uh, below the corresponding term and then we will have n 2 log n multiplied by log n minus 2 and this last term will become n by 2 log n plus 1 multiplied by log n minus 1 now subtract the second one from first so t by t minus t by 2 left side becomes t by 2 then uh, this is n by 4 and then plus uh, this is same term and factor is 2 here 1 so it will be 1 so n by 2 cube plus again 3 minus 2 is 1 n by 2 4 plus here let's write n by 2 square all the way up to n by 2 log n plus n by 2 log n plus 1 log n minus 1 so this term is a uh, geometric series so n by 2 square is the first term we can take this one common or let's remove 2 from all the sides so 1 2 is reduced now t becomes uh, this is a geometric series so n by 2 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square 1 by 2 raised to the power uh, log n minus 2 so how many terms are there these are log n minus 1 terms so what will be the value again writing this last term n by 2 so sum of geometric series is s equal to a multiplied by 1 minus r to the power n divided by 1 minus r if there are n terms so in this case number of terms is log n minus 1 so a we have already written out n by 2 and then 1 minus here r the common factor is half and a power of log n minus 1 minus 1 we can move 2 ahead above so this is numerator and denominator will be 1 minus half that is 2 comes in the numerator so this 2 goes away and then the last term that is n by uh, we can write it as 1 log n 2 raised to the power log n is n so this becomes 1 so this is a constant term you can get rid of it some constant log n minus 1 or we can write c so what is this term n multiplied by 2 raised to the power log n is n so it's uh, n minus 2 by n and uh, let's write it again here so let's so we have t equal to n multiplied by n minus 2 by n and we had also some constant so this n this n cancels so it's n plus some constant or we can get rid of constant so it's o of n so you see that initially it looked like n log n operation but finally it comes out to be o of n and the reason is that uh, we had simply taken log n for all the nodes but that was not the case for half of the nodes it's zero for next one fourth it's just one unit for next one eighth it's two units and so on and that uh, the summation rule of geometric progression comes into picture and we get slightly better time complexity
so from n log n it comes down to o of n so i hope uh, you understood why time taken to build a complete heap of n nodes is o of n and not o of n log n